community on a mission. We've all held a vision of this in our, our hearts. To save this precious historic house by hauling it through a city. It's hard to steer, she's sliding on me there. Will it survive icy inclines? Oh, oh, oh. It's gonna come tumbling down, this would be the moment. And an airborne assault course? I have a feeling this is not going to go as good as we would like it to be. Rescuing this historic house will be nothing short of one massive move. Halifax, capital of Nova Scotia. With 250 years of history, this is one of the oldest cities in Canada. But as new buildings rise, Halifax heritage is tumbling down. In the heart of downtown, the 250-year-old Morris House is a lone survivor. Once owned by Halifax's first city surveyor, Charles Morris, it too now needs to make way for new developments. Okay, are we ready to go in? Yeah. The Morris House is a true architectural gem and has been saved from demolition by a dedicated team from the Heritage Trust of Nova Scotia. Volunteers like Kim Thompson can't stand to see this antique building end up in a landfill, so we're planning to move it to a new site. I've become extremely fond of this building, very passionate about it, I guess, over the years. Finding a new home for this precious house has been a big challenge. I don't think anybody had any idea that it would take three years to find a lot and another use for it. The land is very, very expensive here. But after years of searching, the volunteers were finally donated a plot of land. Here on the other side of the city, the old house will have a bright new future. Becoming a home for those who need it most. About 40% of the homeless population is under the age of 21 today in Canada. The Ark is a drop-in center for young homeless people. We offer two meals a day in our space and education and practical needs. Right now, there's no room here for people to stay. But moving the Morris House will change that. The Morris on Wheels. Yep. Our space here is a day center, and particularly on the really cold nights, it's very hard to close the doors. Imagining that building populated with young people, I get a little emotional when I think about that part. <laughs> but the 250-year-old building now faces a dangerous drive to get out of downtown. Traveling two and a half miles around tight corners, up the city's steepest hill, and through the crowded heart of Halifax to reach its new home. I have no idea how they're going to move this building through downtown Halifax and up the steep hills. I think we've all held a vision of this move in a really deep place in our hearts, and I think that that's what's making it happen. The Heritage Trust bought the house for just $1, but moving it will cost $30,000. Renovations, another $300,000, bringing the grand total for this ambitious project to $330,001. This job will test even the most experienced mover in town. I've been moving houses for 40 years. I started when I was 12 working with my dad. We moved a lot of houses over the years. Some big ones, heavy ones, and some tough ones. This is going to be one of the toughest. This is the oldest and most fragile house Sheldon Rushton and son Brad have ever hauled. It's all brick to the top. It's a headache for a mover, for sure. You don't want to see brick, especially when you don't know about it, and especially when it's in between the walls. Sheldon's crew must prop up the old house's fragile floor on steel beams for the move. But there are big problems inside. The wooden walls contain a layer of fragile brick. And two massive brick chimneys way down the low. Try hauling the house now, and it doesn't stand a chance. Mm -hmm. 
so the team must painstakingly remove the chimneys and position extra steel supports directly under the brick-filled walls. A mammoth amount of work. With brick of that age, you really can't count on it. I mean, anything can really happen. <laughs> Hopefully things come down the way they're supposed to. In the desperate dash to lighten the load, anything not original has to go. Timber! That didn't sound like flesh. No, we're no all right. <laughs> Luckily, Kim can see beyond the chaos. You can feel like it's just ready to take that next step, so we're very, very excited. With the house 20 tons lighter. So cold, it's making it jumpy, but all right. Sheldon and Brad must now weave their web of beams underneath. They'll slide on you, they're awful icy. Go easy there. Whoa, 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 whoa. easy, there, easy, whoa, whoa. Put her down there. Trying to load and unload steel beams full of snow and ice, minus 27. Fun stuff. With the mercury plunging fast, it looks like the old house is heading for a rough ride. If the beams are really slippery and, and, and everything's icy, you hit a bump, it could twist her right off and she'd be over on her side just in a split second. In Halifax, Nova Scotia, Sheldon's crew has fought the freeze to knock 20 tons Timber! out of the 250-year-old Morris house so they can haul it two and a half miles across the city to its new lot where it'll be transformed into housing for young people in need. At last, it's, it's moving, and that's really exciting. Oh, it's just amazing. Incredible to see all this activity here. It's a relief for Kim Thompson, who has waited three long years for move day to arrive. Everyone's working super hard in spite of the cold, and it's gonna roll. It's 5 p.m. Police have told Sheldon's crew to be on the road in nine hours' time. Yeah, froze. This is froze too, yeah. But the minus 20 degree temperatures risk derailing tonight's road trip. Getting colder, getting darker. Yeah, we run out of time here, holy Jesus. Loading this 80 ton Goliath onto the truck. You guys ready? Will be a challenge for Sheldon's specially designed hydraulic rig. Going up. She won't left, boys. But the house proves too hefty, and the clock is ticking. I'm scared she might not hold it if I get it up there and the cylinder blows. Yeah. We're screwed. Yeah. Well, you hope that they can get the equipment to work, is if the house is too heavy, I don't know what they do. We're putting two more cylinders on, so we have twice the amount of lifting powers. I'm hoping this is going to work. All right, boys, a moment or two. There she goes. Yes. You go. The house finally makes it onto the truck. Locals turn out in force to send it on its way. I am excited and nervous. The group has worked so hard for this day. All right, boys, we're going to make the move here now. So. No screw-ups and good luck. Go! Coming out of there is going to be pretty rocky. This is going to be interesting. 2 a.m. To reach the road, Sheldon must back the house up a ramp and across an uneven parking lot. Okay, boys, I'm backing up. It's easy. Go! Oh, okay. Get her up. It's hard to steer. She's sliding on me there. Don't stop. Keep coming. He's moving a lot faster than I would if it was me driving. Keep coming. Keep coming. I've never had a house driving towards me before. <laughs> easy, easy, don't jerk it. And we're off for the races. Sheldon hits the tarmac, and he's got to keep his foot down. He faces a huge hurdle up ahead. A tight turn onto the city's steepest street. 
ice makes this mountain too tough for Sheldon's crew to climb with the 80-ton load. So they must make some critical adjustments. They'll use the hydraulics to lower the front of the house down, pushing as much weight as possible forward. And call in some extra horsepower. A 20-ton loader to help push the house to the summit. Ice makes the tight turn onto the hill a real challenge. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My steering is pushing me instead of turning. Pretty slippery out here tonight, and it's hard to steer it. I'm going to drop it just a little bit more. The hill is much icier than they thought. Sheldon decides to double his pushing power. I'm going to put uh, two loaders on it just to be safe on the going up the hill. I'm just really hoping the front end loaders are here to take the house up the hill and not to pick up the pieces. Tell them to push. We're on the move. With 40 tons of machinery pushing on the fragile building, it's critical each vehicle moves at exactly the same speed. Yeah, keep her going, Sheldon. A step out of sync and they'll tear this historic house apart. If uh, something broke, we could land down backwards. If we stopped, we'd never get started. It's so hard to get started with an incline like this. Almost to the top. So far, so good, Sheldon. Suddenly, the loader's bucket smashed into the beam at the back of the house. Is everything OK back there? Okay, long stop. Keep coming. The front end loader slipped out. That was very scary. Very scary indeed. I think we're going to make it. Against all odds, they make it up the icy incline. Yeah. That was rough coming up that hill my age. Not the man I used to was. They pick up the pace on the flat roads ahead. In Halifax, Nova Scotia, we're off for the races. Sheldon's crew has trucked the historic Morris House halfway across the city. But there's still a mile and a half to go. Here we go again. OK, boys. Up ahead, this 35-foot tall building is about to run into another web of worry. Power and telecom cables feeding over 30,000 homes. Hitting these will barbecue the building and trigger a blackout. So Sheldon's team must call in over 20 power and telecoms crews to travel ahead and lower the massive line. They must work fast to minimize disruption on one of the coldest nights of the year. It's the biggest operation of its kind to hit Halifax. The scale of it right across the city, on some of the busiest streets, is, is nothing I've seen. With more than 70 people unknitting cables, it's chaos. You guys just get out of my way. Well, who's the telephone? You? You the telephone? There was a hurricane here in Halifax at one point, and the wires were all chaos. So it was sort of like this, but this is even more. The high voltage is live over here. So we'll kind of keep to so the right hand side. Right, we'll get those lights out of your way. All right, then. They can't be touching the truck. The voltage on the side is 25,000 volts. If you were touching the truck in that, then you would be electrocuted. Don't turn, because we're going to run you into a light, Sheldon. It's real tight for the house here. It's getting tighter all the time. And up ahead, it gets much worse. It's the spider web of cables at the next intersection that everyone's concerned about. Dozens of massive cables block this junction. The crew must rig ramps across them and hope for a smooth ride. This is the scary part. The house has to stay fairly level, and it's going to come tumbling down. This would be the moment. Rock and roll too much, and the brick-filled walls could crumble. 
Everybody's heart went a little faster, I think, when we heard that big crunch. There's so much weight on the ass end. The 80-ton load is crushing this ramp to matchwood. They race to reinforce it. Round three. Go for broke. Straight out, Sheldon. Keep going. Let's go. Straight out, Sheldon. Let's go. It's a roller coaster ride. Keep coming. Keep coming. Easing the house over more than 60 chunky cables. The end is almost in sight, but the crew's greatest challenge is yet to come. The Morris House's new home is a tiny plot of land at the top of another steep hill. With houses on every side, the approach angle is extremely dangerous. So Sheldon must call in all the help he can find. First, the 20-ton loader will take the strain. Then, when space gets too tight, he'll muster an excavator to heave the house on at a sharp angle. Together, these massive machines should be able to lug the building onto the drop zone. There may be light at the end of the tunnel, but the road's closing in on them. Every time we hear the grinding or the crunching, oh, it's just the unknown. Everything's against us. The roads are slippery. It's going to be a tight one here, a very tight one. In Halifax, Nova Scotia, Sheldon's crew have lugged the historic Morris House through the heart of the city. But the final few feet will be the trickiest. It's all slippery now. The ice is on the road here. You don't know where the truck's going to go. OK, we're on the move. We're really, really close right now. Just a few meters away from the site where it's going to be landed. Welcome to Morris House. Oh, yeah. The whole community joins Kim to cheer the old house onto its new home. This is something that this area has never seen before. And did you see anything like this before? Oh, you did? OK, cool. Easy, Sheldon. Keep going. Yeah, good. Good, Sheldon. Keep going. So tight that they've got to use the excavator to pull everything in and around. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Whoa, stop there. Son of a even the massive excavator struggles to haul the house round the last turn. He's got himself stuck. This is the scariest part of the whole venture for me so far. OK, now, Nick, you back up now. But Sheldon's got a plan. I have a feeling this is not going to go as good as we would like it to be. Hold it. Hold it. Right now, it really doesn't look good. I believe the this is going. Okay, we're going up. Watch the wheel. Oh, hold up. Oh, oh, oh. Holy With a last minute lift. This way, Sheldon. Oh, oh. Stop, Sheldon. Touchdown. Oh. Yes, you get a hug, Kim. You get a hug for me. <laughs> it's a tough move coming through a city, and <laughs> I'm going to bed now. I'm done. I'm done for the day. That part of the third floor will be a communal space. The next day, an army of volunteers is hard at work transforming the building. I just would love to have that room myself. <laughs> into affordable accommodation for homeless young people. Next step is to get a foundation dug and we'll hopefully have the young people in there in the next year. A new addition will double its size, 
So this historic home can house up to nine. Oh, this is such a great, great space. I would love it up here. It would be so beautiful when it's refinished. Yeah, it really will. This 250-year-old building is being invited to, to start something new. I'm so excited. Even though it looks a little rough around the edges right now, the vision that we have for it will make it a really inspiring piece of architecture and a home in our community.